Welcome back to reviews of gin in Middle Tennessee. I, I'm, I'm sloshed right now. I can't get over that magic, uh, not magic hat, uh, magic trick gin from South Carolina. Oh, God, what did I do? All right, well, anyway, so I, I'm going to continue on here. This is uh, very unprecedented here at <laughs> gin reviews in Middle Tennessee. See, I knew I knew the name. All right, so Greenles. Greenles, okay. This guy right here, 1761. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful old London dry gin made in the old London style way in London. Also, um, if you read my or watched my Boodles review, Boodles, you would have seen, uh, <laughs> you would have seen, uh, Boodles, which was amazing. Sorry, I'm trying to get my like, notes together here, and I'm a, I'm a tiny bit tipsy. Anyway, so, um, Boodles, Boodles, right here, is made by the distillery that makes Greenles, um, which is the distillery in London. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> let's go, let's do a little bit real quick. Greenles Gin. We're at a 40%, so it's barely a gin, but it's a gin. Let's let's hope it's good. Uh, Based spirit is unknown. I don't like that, but it's unknown. This music might be a little too loud. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little better. <clears throat> the known botanicals are almond, angelica, cassia, coriander, juniper, of course, lemon, licorice, and orris root. All right, right there. Come on now. Those are going to be hot. They're going to be a little bit citrusy, but not too much. Eh, you get what I mean. All right, so handcrafted by Britain's oldest distillery, Greenall's Gin remains true to our founder's vision to create the first quality crafted gin. Greenall's, the original London Dry Gin, remains unchanged from the original recipe. Closely guarded by just seven master distillers in our 250-year History, that's pretty cool. 250 years, they've only had seven. Seven. <clears throat> yes, honey. Today, we continue to build on this classic award-winning recipe as we create new and original gins, just as our founder did all those years ago. The ingredients. Before the distillation begins, the botanicals are added by hand to our copper still, along with a mixture of grain, neutral spirit, and water. Basically what they're saying is, is they take a whole bunch of herbs, they throw it into some vodka, um, they use water, hopefully it is sourced by, it says, uh, the foothills of the local Cheshire Plains. I hope so, right? And that's just a friggin' spigot in London somewhere. We'll see. Uh, rest it in the spirit and water to allow the flavors to infuse, which is great, because that's what gin does, right? The distillation, step two. Using steam, the liquid is heated until it vaporizes, taking all the essential oils and aromas of the botanicals. The vapor is cooled, condensed, and collected as a concentrated spirit of gin. She's still into that uh, bag here. I never do this, but... <laughs> you like that bag, I see. But why do you like that bag? Oh, the kitty. All right, back to the gin. Let's see. She might annoy a little bit more, but eh, who cares, right? She's the best. <coughs> yes, I know. <clears throat> All right, I don't know if I got to this point, but the distillation using steam, the liquid is heated until it vaporizes, taking all the essential oils. I remember this. It's collected as a concentrated spirit. The hot. Only the heart of the distillate is chosen to create all gin. Any residual liquids, the heads, the tails, which are created at the start and the end of the process are discarded. <laughs> Greenles has a couple of very interesting notes in its history. At 1761, before our American Revolution, remember that, was the first year that gin making was legal in England. <laughs> Hence, that's the year Greenles Incorporated. Isn't that crazy how that happened? Yeah. Someone's in someone's back pocket, methinks. 
In 2005, the distillery experienced massive fire, which, despite the scale of the fire, only shut down production for six days. That's crazy. It's massive, right? Nice work. And finally, they've only had seven master distillers in two and a half centuries. <laughs> Sounds like an impressive nearly 40 years per master. The current master distiller is a woman. Rock on. Rock on. Joanne Moore. She's one of a small but rapidly growing number of women master distillers around the world. That's awesome. Why do they often be men? I don't know. We're not even going to go into that tangent because I'm not going to win. Not that there's a game or anything, but... Anyway, look, this is the thing that came on the bottle, and the guy was like, do you need that? And I'm like, yeah, you never know, I might show it in the video, and there it is. It just says, it's a good buy. Let's see, there's a bit more nuance. Intimidations of classic flavoring elements like coriander, orange, lemon, and cassia over. Just above the radar on the palate. So with that being said, let's open this bastard up and see really, really, worldly where we're going to be at. Now it's a screw top. You don't know how I feel about that. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just uh, do it, right? Amongst other things. This here is just some ice. Eh, fuck the... Fuck the shot glass. I could do this. I'm better when I've had 20. Hold on. Oh my god. Well, it's gin. I mean, it's dry. Juniper. Gin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it already. Just the smell of it. Thank you. Thank god. It's better than that South Carolinian shit. Oh. Okay, so juniper, it, it is dry. It hits first. The back, I am I am getting the orange and the lemon. Um, Cassia is there. It's just there a little bit, though. Wow, now it's there a lot. Okay. Let's taste this bastard. Let's see where we're at. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, it's not very strong. Number one. Not that that's taking me out of this whole gin experience right now. 40% 40%. Whatever. It's just not like hitting me where a good 47, good 48 will. With that being said, I think the ice numbed the palate a little bit, but it's okay because I taste the earthy flavors there. I do, I do, I do, I do. I taste definitely the juniper. The almond is awesome. I love almond in a gin. Good for you guys. Angelica, cassia, coriander, they're all popping. I mean, they're there. They're not as strong as some of the heavier, small batch stilled um, alcoholic gins are made, like uh, the farmer's from Minnesota, from the, what's that one called, um, Organic, Farmer's Organic, that one, that video, that review I did, that one had almost the same amount of botanicals, it wasn't as dry, but the, the alcohol was so high that it brought down the botanicals even more for a neat drink, which is neat. Alright, so here's a little, uh, more ice and a different clean glass and we're going to do our old well guess what I forgot uh, let's see here I'm going to sneak by without dropping or spilling or anything so whoosh, give me two three seconds hopefully there's not a big loud noise oh I made it I made it oh there we go all right we're going to get the fever tree because that's what I forgot Tonic. Look, as it comes into frame, as I am sc scuttling <laughs> like a crab would. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Oh, there it is underneath the grapefruits. 
All right, fever tree as we always do. We're going to pour you into that shot looking shot I poured. It's about a shot. I mean, if it's a little bit more, I am not going to say nothing, and I'm sure you guys aren't either. No. I'm going to do grapefruit. The Texas Star of Love. The Core Core Orange, which is a navel orange, but not a true navel. It's more... It's not, I don't want to say bitter, but it's not as sweet as a navel is. Sometimes oranges are like candy. And, and trust me, I love them when I'm like it's hot and I'm on the line and rock and rolling and there's an orange and it's like, yes, sugar. But right now, in a drink, I don't need that. All right, there, Greenles. Let's see what you got from being over. Uh, what was it? Well, let's see if Joe can do some quick math here. Seventeen sixty-one, right? So we'd go into eighteen nineteen uh, sixty-one, and then we'd go up into uh, two thousand and twenty. So we'd add what twenty on top of that, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a long time. It's a lot of shit going on before the friggin' American Revolution. You believe that? I mean, these guys here that are that were making this gin were also almost ready to come over and kill us but we won motherfuckers god bless america god bless george washington god bless every one of our patriot beings true patriots not these assholes today that call themselves patriots you assholes all right let's get to this mm. i got citrus on the nose It's a gin tonic. That's what this is. This and this is a gin tonic. It's not, I'm not going to compare it to Boodles at all. Because Boodles has no citrus. But if you want a good English dry gin and tonic with citrus and a good tonic as Fever Tree, which is right here. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, oh, there it is. Then I would say, look out. <laughs> No, I'd say try to try to seek this bastard out. I mean, look at it. I love the green in the bottle too. Green is my favorite color. If I was three, that'd be interesting. It's not anymore though. But look, Greenles, look at this bottle. I found this in. <laughs> Where was I? I was seeing someone the other day, and then afterwards the sun came up. And then about three hours after that, I said, you know what? I should probably go somewhere and try to get some new gins for the review. I can't remember where. Oh, Franklin. That's where it was. Franklin, Tennessee. I don't remember the place. It was some weird guy, though. And he was like, hey, man, how you doing? And I'm like, all right. And he's like, cash or card? And I'm just like, well, well, sir, I think cash. We'll do cash. And he's like. Good thing you picked cash because we don't take beaver pelts anymore. And I just said, well, I'm fresh out of them. And that was the end of our conversation. So, Guy, if you're watching this, whoever you were at that store somewhere in Franklin that sold me Greenles <laughs> gin, a uh, 750 mill milliliter bottle. Uh, actually, the price on this was not bad, obviously, because it's a it's, it's a lower shelf uh, gin, which is not bad at all, if you're going to ask me. I paid about uh, $19 for this, so uh, rock and roll greenals. Here's another one to you. Salute, baby. Salute. Mm. Well, I'll put that back here. <clears throat> so all of you out there... You've just witnessed the first uh, gin review of Middle Tennessee. While the host is a little bit red goon faced, <laughs> we said what we had to say. Ange is still rocking. Look at Ange. Look at Ange. You're so good. You're so very good. She loves it. All right. Well, hey, look. There's all of my gins. They're the gins of America, but mostly Europe. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I don't think I've ever done this on one of these, but okay. 
England, oh, England, oh, okay, Japan, fuck, Scotland, 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 shit, oh, there goes something, it's nothing though, Scotland, 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 god damn it, I'm not making my point here very well, um, uh, this says it's made in London, but I believe it's in California. Fuck! No, never mind. England. Alright, there's we're England. Obviously. Beef eater, right? Right here. There's a poll out there, guys. Uh, I, I would start taking that poll. Uh, England, right? Scotland. Damn it. Okay, this is, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, wait a minute. This is Colorado. Thank you, Colorado. Saving my ass for right there. There is, oh, San Francisco. Rock on, motherfucker. And, oh, Tennessee, Kentucky. Wait, I think it's Kentucky, actually. I might be wrong. Uh, this little fucker right here is from, uh... God, I hate this fucking gin. I hope I'd never have to review this if I ever get to that point, but... Illinois! Or how the morons say... Illinois! Um, they're not doing that one. Los Angeles. Yeah, LA. Fuck you, you dirty fucks. Um, Colorado. Another Colorado there. Uh, Virginia. Home of George Colonel. No, General George Washington. Love you. Uh, California. But Italian on the bottle. North Carolina, there we are. We got a little North Carolina, even though it's not that great. You're there. Sonoma, Sonoma Valley, California. We haven't tried you yet, but fuck yeah, we're going to. Pennsylvania, for the blue coat and all of us. For the true patriot. Uh, and then we're right down here in... Thompson Station, Tennessee. Where I'm making gin and watching how someone makes gin. And your awesome master distiller, Jeff Me. Uh, Chicago. We're in Chicago. We're also in Oregon here with this ransom. Oregon. Georgia. Georgia, we got you, Georgia. We love you. Even though we don't really visit as often as we used to. But, uh, whoa. I'm pretty sure... I gotta look at this one. But I was pretty sure I was close. Oh, hope you're not slipping around too much there. California, motherfucker! Which they make an absinthe, which is unbelievable. And two other of these gins we'll have to get into at some point. New York, right here! You know what I'm saying, Brooklyn? It's right there, New York. Love you, baby. Love you. You know what's weird? There's no New Jersey gin. I don't have one. Well, guess what? All you people, all you fans of this uh, channel, guess what you have to get me now? Yeah. Jersey. Armpit of America. Gin. Just do it.